comfy. Well, that's kind of cool. That's a nice graphic design. Uh, uh, it's a really good day to fly. I Let's don't like that. <laughs> no, I hate that. I hate that. Oh, yeah. Man, he's flying. Hey, look at that. It's a planet. Look at that. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, no. He's falling. No. This sounds like it would be fun to like be a voice actor for, but this is absolutely like batshit crazy. No, not again, not again. Bravo. What? What do you mean the end? That was it? That was it? I need more. Okay, comments. Uh, very experimental. I was a fan. Uh, kind of looks like one of those like you stay up a little too late on like Adult Swim or Nick at Night, just three in the morning type of content. The uh, the art style looked like uh, um, the old Newgrounds animations, looked like a Flash thing. Um, it, it was pretty neat, um, kind of kind of goofy, kind of synthy, kind of pretty neat. That was so weirdly made. It looked like it was made in like tux paint or something. Like the thing you'd go on in like IT class, you'd mess around with it for a little bit. I mean, I like the music though, and the music was really freaking good. I liked it a lot. But that was, that was a trip. I wonder if that's what Acid is like. There was like, I just, his voice, I don't know, it sounded like inhuman, like a lizard person. <laughs> like just, I don't know. There's a door. What, is that a, is that a door or something? Oh, this is gonna be something like high school made. Oh yeah. Shadow Man? Oh. Sesame Street. Turn it on more lights. That's a lot of boxes, buddy. Is this gonna be like one of them silent films where there's like the not really subtitles but things after somebody talks, or is this fewer barbecue sauce? That's a failed fridge. Jeez. Who put that creamer in like that? Colby Jack cheese. A lot of dressing, a lot of sauce. How do you go to the fridge and then not know what you want? Oh, they got different kinds of milk. Orange juice. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, it's gonna be all gross and... Why is the milk yellow? <laughs> is it gonna get spooky? I think it is orange juice. I thought that was old expired milk and I was ready for him just to full send it and just drink it. I hope it's orange juice. It's a lot of cups. Oh, I have that cup. February, does it say February 25th? It's probably expired by now. Okay, why is there no sound? It's unnerving. Man, I want orange juice. Could someone give me orange juice? I wish there was sound. Oh, again, I don't like not having sound. It's a lot of food on the counter. Okay, this is, uh... Is this Sean's editing process? He needs to have his orange juice to edit. Sesame Street shirt. Okay, my biggest issue is that, oh, oh. Oh man. Lights are on, lights are off. Midnight snack, oh, 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 I, I get it now. Th that, that was it? What do you mean? What was the point of that, what like, artistic thing was he going for there? That one was interesting. Uh, no audio kind of crippled it a bit. I think even if there was no like audio from the actual thing, if there was music going on, going on and all throughout it, it could have been a little bit more creepy. Uh, it was interesting. I uh, didn't really, couldn't follow what was going on until the ending. Well, the title really made it kind of click. My biggest issue is that you took so long in the fridge when you were just getting orange juice or orange milk. Like, I, my mom would be so mad at me. I could not pull that off. Um, it was a little drawn out for no music or no actual other suspense building. But uh, it was neat. He was just drinking juice. Who, who did he see? Oh, man. Like, I, I want to say, oh, there was just some, like, supernatural figure, but that was just his mom walking in being like, what the hell are you doing?
Like, I feel like, I don't know, if it's midnight and I want a snack, it's usually very specific. Like, I know I want pizza rolls. I know I want orange juice. Specifically, usually it's cheese. Like, I cut up little cheese cubes, and it's always that. That or mozzarella sticks. I'm a big cheese person at night. But what was the point of that? He just got juice, sat down at a computer, and then left. Although, why did you choose orange juice for a midnight snack? That's... It was the only thing I had. Oh. <laughs> you didn't have any, like, solid food? Nope. Huh. Interesting. Plus the Jews, so you don't you don't see the levels change. Oh. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Mad Ocean Studios. Why is the ocean red? Mad Ocean Studios presents a new form horror film horror film by Luke Madorsky and Peter Bereen. The curse of the skull. Okay, that makes sense. Is that why there's a skull? 2001 The Space Odyssey? Hold on, I gotta get into this. It's like one of them analog horror projects. A lot of, a lot of lights. Oh, that's a tree. I thought those were like LED lights on the ground. Ah, uh, looks like the uh, titular skull right there. Is that the, uh, the, the skull that the, that the film is named off of? Kind of close. Oh. Okay. Practicing his upholstery. Got something stuck in your finger? <laughs> These are such drastic shit. Man, I was vibing. What happened? Oh, man. Getting kind of spooky here. I like the weird... This is so weird. Oh, 10 out of 10 acting. Love it. <laughs> okay, you walk down into it. Okay, lights on. I was gonna say, you walk down into a dark hallway. Never a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Little POV shot. He's taking a shit. He's gotta take a water break, man. Now, is that a different skull or is that the same uh, curse skull occupied. right there? It's occupied. The best thing to say while you're in the bathroom. Man, I'm just loving this delivery. Pull the pants up, go deal with it. Bestie, no! Ah, the Among Us curtain. Among Us? <laughs> Is that an Among Us shower curtain? It's a skull. That's a funny shot. A nice little POV shot. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> Among Us! Among Us! <laughs> oh man. All right. <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> what the fuck? That title wasn't lying. That skull do be cursed. Uh, where'd it go? Come on, buddy. Get out of the tub. You got this. You got this. I think we had a president who got stuck in the bathtub. He's schmoovin'. All right. He's outside. Keep running. Why'd you stop? You were being attacked. You would oh, die in a horror surprised. movie. I would not be surprised if you die in this one. That's it. Oh, it's the end. He made it. How, how many protagonists make it out of the horror movie alive? Man, that was uh, intense. Taking a bit long. I dig it though. That was pretty good. Just like, where, what? The skull? Where did it go? Why did it attack him? Why did they have Among Us, like, shower curtains? Why? Director of Photography. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? A little post credit scene. I... Just, I... The, I gotta go to the bathroom, just all of it. Just, I, the camera, like, just the skull just being shoved in the camera, I, that would have been a trip to film, but also at the same time, like, that was absolutely insane. Damn, that was spooky. I was terrified, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty scary. Gives me vaguely uh, analog horror vibes. I don't, know if, I don't know if you know what that is. Um... I, I thank Luke for making that, because that was funny, that was hilarious. I don't think that was the route he was going with it, but it was funny. Man, that was uh, 
kind of kind of spooky, yeah. little little intense. Yeah, the POV shots and the, the the skull going at it. That was that was fun. That was cool. I like. It was neat. I feel like. Yeah, no. It's just Among Us shower curtains. Like, that that was the scariest part right there. That was the scariest part of the whole thing. Uh, all these should be turned into uh, Disney Plus original series. My biggest takeaway is that if you're being attacked, hold on to the Gatorade bottle for dear life because it could save your life. Mm -hmm.